Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, and this is the game I've been trading for my whole life. This is Super Mario Bros. 35. I'm not sure it needs any introduction. It's pretty current, especially by the standards of this channel. So we're going to do a 35 player battle, and I'm at level 69 right now. Nice. And this game, I don't know if you know this, but this game was made like specially for me by Nintendo. I am rigged to win every time. My average ranking in a match is one. I've never gotten lower than that, and I don't make mistakes, and I don't die. So we're going to hit some levels here. My little Mario is thinking about level 2-2, but I doubt people are going to want to start at 2-2. I think, I think the little thought bubble is like a vote process to see which level you start with, and I think most people just choose 1-1, one, one, which, don't get me wrong, great level to start in because it gives me plenty of opportunities to kick people's butts. So here we go, indeed, with the ellipsis and everything. Probably you're just going to start on level 1-1. One, one. I'm sure it's going to be hunky-dory. All right, here we go. So, all right, going at it, and boom, here we go. See, I don't make mistakes. That first Goomba, I've never gotten killed by that Goomba. Somebody already got killed, presumably by that Goomba or a Goomba. Uh, but, yeah, you usually see two or three people... Maybe four, go down early. Uh, those people, uh, they're not meant to win the game because they're not me. Shigeru Miyamoto and Nintendo R&D designed this game specifically for me. They actually flew me out to Japan and said, Roundy, what would you like to see in a game? And I told them, I'd like to see a game where I always win and I never lose. And they're like, well, we'll try to make that happen. And sure enough, they, they gave me this little 35-man battle royale to to play with. Here we go. All right. I'm doing pretty great right now. Of course I am. I'm around the wheel and uh, that was not a mistake. I don't know what you thought you saw there, but uh, I meant to do that to give the other players a bit of a handicap. And uh, that little slide also, also not a mistake. I, I meant to do that because I feel like I don't crunch the bricks there very often. So I just decided to do it a little differently than I normally do. Okay, but 1-2 is pretty easy. I like to take the warp zone. I like to take a little gamble. See where we're already down to 23 people. What levels? Ah, 1-4. That gives me an opportunity to send somebody a Bowser. I think I will take that opportunity. Alright. <laughs> Sending me Goombas. Goombas just walk off into pits. They're no good. They never did no good for anybody. If you send me Goombas, I'm just going to turn that to my advantage. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take that Goomba, and I'm going to marry it. Okay, all right. I usually get hit there, so that was kind of nice. But it looks like I have an enemy-free path to send somebody a Bowser. Ha ha ha! Flick over to attackers. There we go. Boy, I am not, not seeing a whole lot of enemies so far. We're going to... Hopefully I get a number one here. This is first take. What am I talking about? Hopefully I get a number one. I always get number one because I'm around the wheel and this game was made exactly for me. Uh, I don't ever lose at this game. I have never lost, not even once yet. I have barely even gotten hit. And that was just because the game was like, you know, he's a little too good. He should probably ease off other players, give some people a chance, sending me back to 1-1. One, one, that's a that's a great one. 1-1 one, one is great when you are, it gives you a chance to recover from a tough level. Not that I ever have tough levels, but, you know, it, you know, conceivably that's the idea, is that, you know, come back to 1-1, one, one, bit of an easy run here. Why don't I load somebody up? Get some coins for the item roulette later. Uh, I am doing pretty awesome. We're down to 14 competitors here. 14, oh, six, a full 60% of the field is gone. And now we're on level 2-1. This is another great level. It's also got a very easily accessible 1-up and a very easily accessible star. There's that hidden 1-up. There we go. 1-ups give you 20 coins. That's a free... That amounts to a free chance at the item roulette wheel. So, there we go. Oh, oh burp, 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 and burp. There we go. And there's our star. You always want to send piranha plants to people. Piranha plants end up in funky places. If you if you overload somebody with piranha plants, you can really you can really ruin a day sometimes. Okay, so star has run out. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to come back. Oh no, I 
lost my fire flower. That's that's not supposed to happen. I'm gonna have to call Shigeru Miyamoto about that. Have a little talk with him. That's I'm not supposed to lose power ups. The game is specifically programmed so that that never happens to me. But I'm so I'm gonna have to get I guess R and D on the phone. Tell tell old uh old Uncle Shiggy. You know I'm Uncle Roundy. He's Uncle Shiggy. We have kind of a thing. And so. There we go. I don't even have an uncle who works at Nintendo. Just Shigeru Miyamoto is my uncle, and he made this game just for me. Because I'm... There, there's no way I couldn't be good at this game, because it was made specifically for me to be good at. Look at the piranha plant popping up in a place where no one would ever reasonably get hit by it. Oh, hey, look at that. Sent somebody a Bowser. Somebody sent a Bowser to me. I'm sending Bowser right back. So long, gay Bowser. Come on. So long, so long. Every enemy in my path. Oh, we might want to take the low road here, actually. Uh, why don't we, yeah, why don't we, uh, why don't we take the even lower road into the pit and, uh, lose the game? I've never lost the game before. This is the first time I've gotten any rank lower than first, ever. I'm two ranks above a plusel. Some, some random wild Pokemon was just playing. Oh my gosh, this is this is embarrassing. I don't know how this happened, but we will fix this, I promise. Alright, once more unto the breach, and this time I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get my number one. Three people already knocked out. Must be that first Goomba. It is a tricky one. Not for an expert like me, but you know, but for maybe some idiot loser or somebody's kid who's playing, then it would be that you, you would see somebody like that dying to the to the very first Goomba of the game. Because uh, those are the kinds of people who die to the very first Goomba of the game. Not experts like me. I, I die to later Goombas like this. Actually, I don't die to later Goombas at all. I've never lost this game. So, how could that be? So, let's keep on running. Let's do the Starman run, the Starman jaunt. Uh-huh. Takes you all the way to the end of the level. If you're good enough, and if you're fast enough like me. If you're good enough, smart enough, and doggone it, people like you. So let's go ahead and bop over. Yes! Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Get ourselves some nice, luscious, delicious, juicy time units. Oh, oh, where do you think you're going, Mr. Goomba? Don't you know it's dark outside? Don't you care about my pride? Okay. There we go. Send somebody a bunch of Goombas. Goombas just help me. If you send me Goombas, I'm gonna send them right back to your face. But... There we go. No Bowser here this time. I think we think we can take the high route. And where's it going to take us? Eh, this is not a very good selection of levels. So I'm just going to loop back to 1-2. I love doing the warp zone gambles. So anytime I get to do the warp zone shuffle, I'm going to do it. And if I don't get good options, well, then I'm just going to run this level again. Because... Okay, there we go. Alright, that was a little bit of a sticky jam for just a second. I don't know if you noticed, I, but I wasn't sweating, I wasn't sweating, everything is fine. I'm the best there ever was at Mario games, and the best there ever will be, so don't even question my prowess. It's actually illegal to question how good I am at Mario games. Uh, they made that a law in Japan. I asked Shigeru Miyamoto to make that a law, and he did it for me. Alright, let's hit 2-1 again. That was a fun level. I really enjoyed 2-1. It's, uh, it's not, not really a standard level, but, you know, it, it is a change of scenery, and it's, it's exactly as easy as 1-1 is. All the levels in the game are the same amount of easy, because I'm the one playing them. Alright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Send those Goombas along. Let's switch over to attackers. We've got most of the field. We're down to 40% of the field. That's usually about the time I start sending people gobs of stuff. I got four people targeting me right now. Good grief. What did I ever do to anyone? Except win this game a bunch of times. Uh, okay, this is... It looks, it looks like we're already on my way to like my 70th number one, however many times I've played by now. Okay, alright. Everybody, why don't everybody have a bunch of turtles and stuff? That sounds... That sounds splendid. There we go. Send all tons of enemies. Now we're on, this looks like 3-3. Yeah, this is world 3-3. Not a lot of opportunities for enemy killing here, but, you know, if you keep sending me Goombas, I will keep sending them back at you. That's, that's just how this works. You send me the Goombas, I send them back at you, and then you get killed by them. That's pretty cut and dry to me. I don't know, I don't know about you, but... Uh, I've never heard anything simpler in all my life. Yeah, take that, boy. Everybody, 
Everybody is getting a dose of the wheel today. That's right. Although, strangely, I have not uh, done any individual KOs yet. That's, you would think I would have been responsible for somebody losing by now with the amount of overwhelming difficulty I'm throwing at people. Throwing them all kinds of Goombas and Koopa Troopas. Yeah, we're not really getting a great enemy load, are we? We are not indeed. I need to be sending people bloopers and Hammer Brothers and all kinds of, all manner of whatnot. I don't know what happened there. Uh, that was... That was some kind of coding mistake by the game. I jumped on top of the enemy, clearly. Uh, but the game didn't seem to think so. I'm gonna have to talk to R&D about that one. Let's go ahead and, uh... There, there are still a few bugs to be worked out. This is an early version of, of the game, but... Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, man. Somebody is getting an eyeful right now. Yes! Send me to a castle, please! Send... I'm gonna send someone a baby Bowser. Or really, a full-grown Bowser. That would be even better to send along, probably. I think that's the only kind of Bowser you can send along in this game. I think Mario... I think Super Mario Brothers was made before Baby Bowser became a character, but, uh... Uh, don't, uh... Don't quote me on that. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, looks like I need to use item roulette because the game is being excessively rude to me right now. Ah, uh, but looks like I fixed it. I fixed it. Just needed some fine-tuning. That's okay. Not sure how I jumped past the axe either. That was that was a very big mistake uh, on the game's part, of course. I don't make mistakes, only the game does. And yep, that's right. Okay. There we go. Bop it a boopy. Excellent, excellent, excellent work being done here today, folks. Alright, have I gotten any individual KOs yet? I have not. Oh my gosh. People are just avoiding everything I'm throwing at them. I mean, I've, I've thrown as many Koopas and Goombas as I can at people. I don't know what's happening. Like, how, how are people not avoiding... How are people managing to avoid my Koopa Troopas and Goombas? And, and my occasional Piranha Plant? Uh, okay. Well, there we go. Alright. Always hard to tell when my star is about to really give it up. Oh, 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 that, that was an error in judgment. On the game's part, of course, never on mine. There we go. <laughs> Thought you could fool me with your springboard shenanigans. Well, you were not able to. We're down to, I think we're down to the final ten here, it looks like. We're doing, I'm doing pretty great. I'm going to end up in the final one, is what's going to happen to me. So, uh, nobody needs to worry about me. Is that a Lakitu in the wall? Are we getting Lakitus at this point? Uh-oh. Well, good thing its face is stuck in the ceiling and it can't do anything to me. Not that it would be able to do anything to me otherwise, because I'm the world's greatest Mario player, and this game was designed specifically for me to be awesome at. I think I'm just gonna sit here and, uh... There we go. That gets rid of that quite easily. That works for me. Okay. Well, why don't we just let you sit in the wall again? Ha ha ha! Well, if I'm gonna get nothing but POW blocks, at least they're gonna be used on useful enemies. But I'd really like... You know, like a star or something. A star would do me a lot of good here in Castle Numero Uno. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're down to the finals. We're down to the finals. We're about to make state. Uh, 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 uh damage boost. Pro gamer strats. Speed run. Twitch. YouTube.com slash round the wheel. There we go. Subscribe today. Okay, I'm in Lakitu land. I'm in lunch lady land. I'm trying to go for power ups. What am I doing? There wasn't even a power-up in that one. I could have sworn there was. Now we're getting into levels that, uh, I will admit I don't know so well, but that should not prove to be an impediment to my progress or anything. We'll send somebody some spinies. That should... That should do a world of good for my chances here. Send spinies at people. You know, you can't jump on a spiny. I don't know if you didn't know that, but, uh, I'm the Mario expert here, so... So, little tip, you can't jump on spinies. So if you send a spiny to somebody, uh, they might jump on it and be fooled by it because they're an idiot. Uh, but not me. I'm not an idiot. I only ever win at this game. So, I'm just gonna keep, uh, sending those spinies. Keep sending in the funniest home videos. Care of Round the Wheel at YouTube.com. Uh-oh. Oh, better get running. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, do the Lakitu's ever go away? Oh, no, they don't. Whoa! Whoa, mama! That was a nice time for a fire flower. 
See, see, the game just responds to me like that naturally because it knows how great I am. And it cannot help but bow before the face of greatness. I see another Lakitu coming on my watch out screen. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, sniped it right out of the sky. Of course I did because that's how... That's just how this game goes, you know? Hey, what's what's up with this mid-range Lakitu? That's, that's some weirdness going on there. Okay, yep, we're in the top five here. That shell may be coming back any day now. But nope, it decided to stay away. Yeah, because it knows it's good for it. Alright, let's make a big run here. Let's make a run for Big Mama's house. Oh boy. Somebody's getting some Lakitu action right now. This is... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this is getting a little overwhelming. Uh, I could, I could see some people getting really nervous at this point and kind of... Kind of having a bit of a conniption fit, but I'm doing just fine. I think I'll I think I'll be faring just fine here. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of springboard trouble. I mean, it was nothing really. So okay, the the enemies are coming fast and furious now. Uh, but I I will I will prevail because I am the greatest. Doesn't matter if I get hit. Uh, that's just, uh, that's just like day, day four or five glitches to be worked out with this game. So, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, see, see, everything's fine. I got a star, and I'm going to send some crap to a bunch of people. Yeah, there we go. A bunch of people are going to get overwhelmed by enemies, and... Boy, I can't believe this many people are still alive. There must be some other people playing the game who are roughly as good at it as me, but, you know, I kind of doubt it. Uh, what are we on now? We're on 4-1 again, okay. I see a Bowser coming up. That's gonna make me want to use... Alright, oh golly, did I just take out three Bowsers at once? I mean, not that I would be surprised by that, because I'm amazing and I'm the greatest, but... Uh, I don't know what happened there. The Goomba touched me, it decided it needed a friend or something. Uh, oh, mama! What is going on? Item Roulette, be my friend, please. That is not being my friend. What are you doing? Oh, and I was so close, too. Oh, my gosh. That's going to ruin my average, see? I can't get any lower than one. I have a reputation to keep up here, and so does the game, because it's rigged in my favor. Uh, but, you know, I did pretty all right, and I got a level up. I ruined my nice 69, but... Uh, uh, that's okay, I guess. As long as we're moving up in levels, that's really all that matters here. I got beaten by Sam. Who the heck is Sam? Is some rando with a jugum cloud face. I don't like the cut of his jib at all. Alright, I'm gonna get a number one this time. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it down to the very core of my soul. I'm gonna get that number one this time. Just you watch. Okay, see? See, that's already two people down. Uh, I don't know how I didn't KO them. I'm always the one throwing the best enemies at everybody, but... Uh, that's okay. I guess... I guess it'll be alright. As long as people are going down to Chinatown to kick the gong around, then I'm okay with it. Uncle Shiggy, bless me! Mm. Mm -mm. Nothing but net. Oh yes, nothing but Goomba Skull. Here we go. Alright, so, get the star as always, boom, chop chop, chopping down enemies with my mighty axe. They should make a Mario Bros. 335, you know, that that would be, you know, I'm, I'm spoiled now with the Mario Battle Royales, I think they should make a Mario 335, you would certainly get a variety of enemies, certainly a greater variety of enemies than you would get of Warp Zone choices, thank you very much game, good god. Okay. Okay. Stay calm. Stay calm. Focus. Stay calm and focus, Uncle Roundy. You can do this. You can get to a number one. You can do this. Alright. You know you can do it. You've done it like 15 times already. According to official stats. The Unofficially, I always win. But, uh... But, uh, Uncle Shiggy, he knows, he knows what's up. Okay, time to send people some bloopers. Time to put together a blooper reel. 
<laughs> Nobody can use that joke, it's mine, I trademarked it just now. I patented that joke. Patent pending, there we go. Somebody, let's send it to an attacker. I'm tired of sending things to randos. These people aren't gonna know what hit them. I want people who are attacking me to feel the full force of my wrath. Yeah, take it, Goomba. Take it, Blooper. All right, back to 1-1. One, one. Let's see. That's good to recover from a from a kind of rough time there in 2-2. Two, two. Uh, oh, well, looks like I'm going to be having a rough time here, too. Why don't you come down off the pipe? That would be... There we go. Or I could just kill you dead right there. Why would you do this to me, game? Why would you put a piranha plant right there, knowing that I'm going to get a star from item roulette? You big silly. I need... Yeah, I need to recover those item roulette monies, though. That's very important. Okay. All right. Bop through. Yes. And now, yes. Send back all that stuff that came to me. Glorious revenge. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Anybody in a weird level that I need to be aware of? I, somebody just beat the water level, but I don't think I'm going to get blooped anytime soon. If you send me back to 1-1, one, one, I only grow more powerful. That's a mistake. Never send me back to world 1-1. One, one. I will only grow more powerful and strike you down. Ooh, that was almost a bad jump. But, you know, I don't make bad jumps, so really almost is kind of a redundant word to use. Ooh, we're getting some weird choices here. Let's go 5-2. I don't think I've been offered 5-2 as a choice yet. It means I can kill bullet bills, though. Okay. Kill some bullet bills! Oh, gosh. Okay, well... Taking everybody down with me. I've only got one item roulette left. Better be good. Yes! Yeah, try chasing... Wow, those Hammer Brothers. Boy, they have some... They have some interesting traction. I would... I would call the physics on that into question. If I were a... Okay, good. If I were... If I were a more doubting person... Wow, sure. Put a piranha plant right there. Okay. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Run away. Uh, I'm gonna have to live to fight another day, maybe. Okay, I think I'm good for now. Well, maybe not. Oh, uh, the piranha plant. Somebody's piranha plant. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, you're crafty. You're a crafty game. Okay, it's down to me and one other person. I've lit candles, I, the room is dark, I'm praying to Shigeru Miyamoto and the ghost of Gunpei Yokoi, and now Lakitu's are involved. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay, so, okay. Alright, so, I think we can manage this though if I'm just the only person left and I don't get bopped on the head by shinies, that'd be great. Uh, I mean spinies. I don't know what a shiny is. I'm encountering shiny Pokemon now, that's how well I'm doing. I see a few Bowsers up ahead, we need to prepare. Uh, that's not gonna get me prepared for him. Uh, let's get Bowser on the screen at least. Maybe we can, uh, pow block about. Yeah, or even better, there we go. There's the, there's the almighty, the almighty Starman. Okay. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. My mother would be so proud of me if she was watching me right now. I know she would. Okay, yes, there we go. Something to clear out the air with. Okay. And there it is! <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Well, there we go. The universe is at balance because I have gotten a number one. I can put the controller down now. I can resume my, my regular boring life where I don't just kick everyone's ass all the time. So, uh, yeah, that's cool and all, but all right, there we go. 1,122 coins is enough for a level up. I imagine it is. There you go. Mario 35, it's a free download. If you are not playing it, you should. Although, really, there's no point since I'm in the game. You know, you're just going to run into RTW here and you're going to get your butt kicked. Sorry, chrubby and fuel cell. I'm the one standing on the winner's podium here today. As it should be. Mwah. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Shigeru Miyamoto, the ghost of Gunpei Yokoi. I see my prayers were answered. Thank you very much. And continue to make more games that are rigged in my favor in the future, please. I really appreciate it.